building to an organization or to any group so it has really evolved as a technique to develop and manage effective teams in the workplace no? and it is also needed uh, to frequently do it in uh, team building activities so number one the ad one advantage of team building is it identifies strengths and weaknesses so through team building exercise the strengths and weaknesses of each member can be identified in a day-to-day -day routine work uh, such there is such an analysis uh, that cannot be done so these things can be can be seen in the team building activities so it is important to identify the strengths and weakness from the standpoint of leaders or managers in order to form an effective teams okay number two it directs towards vision and mission so the team building activities define the role and importance of the team for the organization to reach its vision so it makes the individuals understand the organization's goals objectives mission and vision so very clearly and motivates them to contribute towards it okay number three it develops communication and collaboration so the team building activities enhance the interpersonal relation of the team members it makes the individuals comfortable and familiar with one another so through collaboration it develops trust and understanding among the team members okay so number four it establishes roles and responsibilities so what does this mean it defines and clarifies the role of each member of the team and at the same time the members are given individual responsibilities along with the motivation of performing as a team so number five it initiates creative thinking and problem solving so in a team individuals are motivated to give their views opinions and solution to a particular problem it leads to brainstorming and exploring their creative side okay number six it builds trust and morale so by conducting team building activities the organization makes the employee or the members feel valued it encourages them to develop their skills and build strong interpersonal relations ultimately boosting the morale or trust of the team members number seven it introduces and manages change so the technique of team building makes it easier for the managers to incorporate an organizational change by making the individuals familiar with the change and its necessity so this team building activities helps in managing such change and its impact over the workings and the team's performance okay so number eight the it facilitates delegation so team building activities helps the managers to be efficiently and adequately delegated the task to the team so in our experience the leaders find it more uh, suitable to delegate the work to a team rather than an individual okay lastly the advantages one of the advantages of team building is better productivity so if the team is wise, wisely formed and all the team members work collaboratively to achieve the objectives the productivity productivity of all the individuals improve so thus increasing the productivity of the team uh, or the organization okay so that's it these advantages of team building we are now 
talking here the other side or the what we call adverse effects of team building so we know that team building is not an easy task a high performance team can fulfill the organizational objectives however an inefficient team can lead to waste of time and resources of the organization or the group so there are as I said multiple adverse effects of team building too so we have here enumerated six disadvantages of team building number one it develops conflict so what does this mean sometimes the team lacks coordination and understanding among its members this leads to conflict and clashes within the team and therefore it decreases the efficiency and productivity so a lot of time is wasted in such conflict management kasi may may wasan nga na ajay mag ka kuna ni class sa ilahang mga principles ideas opinions and also mga kuna nila personality character number two unproductive or free ride team members so sa ato ang lingwahe ang nagitawag nato ni sila og mga daw limbs dawat o limpio no at times some of the team members do not contribute much to team performance no? such individuals are considered to be free riding team members no? they prove to be inefficient and less productive to the team no? so, sa basketball ni ka di ka maka contribute ba okay number three it may lead to non cooperation i'm very sorry for the dogs so what does this mean number three every individual is different from one another so the team members sometimes lack cooperation and unity this non-cooperation among the team members lead to a waste of efforts and hinders the performance of the team as a whole okay so this is the third disadvantages that is enumerated number four it develop it it is uh, difficult to evaluate individual performance no? whatever the result or the outcome the organization gets by team building is the team's achievement or failure so usually the organization overlooks the contribution of each member individually while rewarding the efforts of the whole team okay number five it involves costs so team building activities requires time and money so maybe the money is not an issue but also the time so it's either way the time and the money a lot of time cost and resources are consumed in ensuring coordination balance feedback decision making and conflict management within the teams so dependilin siya sa grupo no? there are those uh, gamay lang o gasto pero ang problema ang time na po ay walay problema sa time kaya lang sa gasto so nga na no number six accountability and credibility issues so in case of failure it becomes difficult to find find out the reason no? the team members sometimes do take up the accountability accountability of their um work holding the other members to be responsible for the unfavorable outcome so in case of success the team members get busy in taking up the credit themselves ignoring the efforts of the whole team together so so that is the disadvantages of team build at this point let us be particular with team building so here are example case and also ideas for team building activities now in case example in the case of Google Google once conducted a study on how to build a perfect team so this is to find out the psychology behind effective team building no? so it found out that the concept of putting those people in a team who are comfortable working with others do affect the performance much no? so 
it is noticed that people with like minds giving a fair chance to one another for putting forward their views and equally listening to the ideas of one another tend to form a high performance team together so kanang naghiusa sa ilahangi na huna ang mga vision okay so that's how this team building activities work so here are the ideas no proceed to ideas for team building activities so you could start with a department picnic using a couple of hours during the work day to visit a nearby park no? grill some food and suggest that employees bring a dish to pass so you as a student trainee of nstp you can get idea from here so why do we need to do that the goal is to is that you gather together to share some quality time uh, talking over the um, what's important what is not important no? so if it your group or your team take the time together taking lunch so might help uh, in the in the improvement of the team no? compared to when you do it alone when you just go on with your own individual work so as a leader you can also sponsor activities where employees get together for fun no? like going to uh, recreational facilities no? bowling or uh, having to walk in the river or going out on a picnic no? or comedy club outings or uh, games basketball or volleyball or baseball whatever games so these things really any event that your team can do or attend as a group will help fun okay and so the some people say that the best team building activities are in, inexpensive fun and effective so not to mention local and easy to do okay that is all for my presentation and if you have questions or clarification feel free to message me thank you for